Hello and welcome back to the Fender Undiscovered Artist of the Year 2017. This is the second semi-final and a chance to meet four incredible contestants battling it out to be this year's winner. Now, if you haven't seen the first semi-final yet, it went out last week. You can catch up with that on the Fender social pages. And the winner of that semi-final and this one that you're about to see will be announced tomorrow morning on Friday, October 20th. Then from there, you, the voting public, get to decide which one of the six other semi-finalists get to join the other two for the big live-streamed final. And we're joined again by our esteemed judges. We have Neil, Georgie and Kev, who are sworn to secrecy. They can't tell us who's won the first semi-final until tomorrow, but they're ready for the next four. But from what you've seen so far, Georgie, tell me what you make of all the contestants. Well, um, firstly, the vocal performances across the board have been really great. And it's just nice seeing these kind of young artists starting to hone the kind of artists that they're going to be, and they've done well. And Neil, are you happy with what you've seen so far? Yeah, I'm very happy, yeah. Yeah, I love seeing the guitar support a song and the many different ways you can do that. That's the kind of the barest state you can do is your voice and an instrument, you know. So I've been impressed with uh, the different ways that, that, that the guitar's been used with the songwriting. Yeah. And Kev, what are your thoughts so far? It's been very interesting. There's been a lot of different sort of stylistic approaches, uh, a lot of different personalities going through. And, uh, yeah, it's been fascinating so far, yeah. Excellent. Well, we look forward to hearing your thoughts on the next four performers. Here's the second part of the semi-finals. And here's our next contestant. Yes, Oscar, how are you doing? Good, mate. Really good, thanks, buddy. Um, absolutely buzzed a beer. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself before you play. Um, so, singer-songwriter-wise, I'm doing it probably three years, um... Plumbing is my day job, so it's a bit of a contrast, but yeah, it's picking up and um, loving every second, so I just want to keep cracking away. Well, you get ready on stage. And this is Oscar Corney. Roll up in the city to chase a life Leave it to the money I'll leave it to the lies I gotta get my going to you I can't let you survive Blame it on the blood of my shoes tonight Are we gonna leave forever? Are we gonna live tonight? How you gonna hold your gun in the middle of a gunfight? Just to let it go, feel the fire in my heart, baby. Let me know. Losing the game that you try to score. Keep running, running. Are we gonna live forever? Are we gonna live tonight? Are you gonna hold your gun in the middle of a gunfight? And let's hear it for Oscar Corney. Thank you for playing that for us, Oscar. How are you feeling? Really good, actually. Um, bit of a song just to jump into, but yeah, I think it went well. Yeah, you jumped in with style and grace. <laughs> I hope so. So, should we hear what the judges have to say? Let's do it, yeah. All right, and first up we have Neil. Um, I thought that was a really, like, good, solid performance. Thank you. Know, you. you know, your vocals were spot on. Uh, and it was kind of good, sort of toe-tapping, kind of driving music. Well, I'd like to hear some some more interesting sections in the song a bit. Yeah. Um, and if I could give you any advice, I would sort of say, really explore some other areas and types of music and classic singer-songwriters yeah. from the past and help that inform future music. Yeah, cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like definitely. bring something new mm. with the old, you know, so. Um, Wicked, yeah, thank that's you. Good, well done. Thank you so much, Neil. Georgie. Um, yeah, I definitely think you've got um, a recording voice. You'd 
listen to that first bit and think that's a, you know that's a nice voice. I would want to hear more of that. Uh, it's kind of no messing. You got to that hooky chorus quite quickly. Uh, it definitely kept my attention. I didn't really write much because I was just watching yeah, you perform. Cool. Um, I think it, just to kind of follow on from what Neil's saying, you know, there is um, a quite established scene of songwriters yeah. doing the kind of thing that you do. So I think yeah. just like have a think about how you can really cut through definitely. and make it your own thing. But definitely, yeah, good song and so a good performance. Thank you. It. Thank you, Georgie. And finally, Kev. I, I agree with the other two judges. I think. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's really solid performance. I think your voice is great. I think it kind of reminds me of Kelly Jones a little bit or something like that. Cool, yeah. um, but I do also agree that I think it's quite a well-established lane that you're in currently. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, how do you, how do you break out of that? How do you make it your own? Yeah. You've established what you've got and that works well, but where do you, how do you make that interesting and, and make it your own? Sweet as, thank you, cheers. Are you happy with the feedback, yeah. Oscar? Massively, mate, wicked. Good stuff. All right. Well, thank you so much for playing for us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And we're ready for the next performer. Hi, Martha. Thanks for coming to play for us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so, yeah, my name is Martha Phillips. Um, I'm going to be doing one of my own songs. Uh, it's called Monster. I wrote this song about six years ago. Um, there's a line in it that says something about being 14. Right. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to play for us, and uh, I'll let you set up. Thank you. She's ready on stage, so this is Martha Phillips. I'm awake with expectations, everyone here is getting relations, but I'm still here all alone, just trying to find my way back home. There's just one thing messing up my head, I can't forget these sticks of bread, I just can't help. I just can't help it There's a wise man once said The corner of my bed is like arms without a beam Hold me closer in the evening Don't know what to say, don't know what's right Am I even fighting the right fight? Is it day or is it night? Breaking through the daylight So tell me what you think if I got over the end Just looking for someone I can call my friend I can tell you feel that I could trust Won't leave me in the corner, won't leave me that I rest And I know it's pathetic, can I know it's immature But I want it like we had before Nobody thought and nobody cared About the way they just stole the makeup of the hair And I know it's pathetic but take a look at the things I've seen Can't say it out loud, so I'll put it in the song The only thing that's right In a path that runs, I'll touch me I'll make things tough Act so hard, I act so tough Try to see me out, make it hard to tell I just need a coin and wish you were Am I a monster or am I a child? Am I a monster or am I just a child? Let's hear it for Martha Phillips. Well done, Martha. Thank you. Really put that guitar through its pieces. <laughs> Thank you. I was very scared. <laughs> Shall we hear what the wonderful judges have to say? Yeah, go on. OK, we'll start with Georgie, if we may. Uh, well done. I think, firstly, it's kind of impressive that you wrote that age 14 and you're only 20 now. I think it's, it definitely shows that you've got some serious talent in there. Um, I, I really love the melody of it. I kind of, I liked the first half, the first bit, but I really loved the second half. Once it kicked into the really atmospheric bit, um, I just really got a sense, I just couldn't take my eyes off you. So you. I think, yeah, just fine tune it, but really well done. Thank you. Thank you, Georgie. Uh, Kev, can we get your comments, please? I thought it was so refreshing to see you having so many ideas and trying to articulate all those ideas um, using pedals, using your voice, using percussion makes, makes me happy just that people have like a vision for what they're trying to do. Um, for me, the thing that I think you need to work on is timing and tempo fundamentally. When you're looping stuff, it's so hard to loop stuff and get it all to sync up. But overall, I thought it was wonderful and I really, really just so happy to see you like having such a vision for what you're up to. It's great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kev. And finally, comments from Neil, please. 
Yeah, I agree with the, the sort of the sentiment of, of both judges, really. I, I Although the, the, the first section, it, it definitely felt a little rushed. I loved the, the vocal harmonies at the end, the way it, where it gets a bit more ethereal and stuff like that. It took me to a different place. And I love the, the trick with the, the, the <laughs> tuning peg. Keep doing it and do it lots and lots and lots until you've like nailed it, you know, so yeah. Thank you well very done. much. Good comments there, Martha. Thank you so much for playing that song for us. And we are ready for the next performer on stage. Hello, Tom. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Good. Thanks, yourself. Very good. Before you play your song, tell us a little bit about your musical history. Sure. Um, I started playing guitar when I was nine years old. I learned completely off YouTube. Yeah, so I singing sort of coupled along with it. And tell us about the song that you're playing today. Uh, the song today is called Invisible Necessity. It kind of explores the idea of not seeing a good thing uh, when it's put right in front of your eyes. Excellent. We look forward to hearing it. I'll let you get set up. Thank you very much. This is Tom Orton. If I were to show you an insight to my life, would that really matter to you? Make all of the pavements saturate and fall, deviate between the love and lies I've ever told. But once I'm down, I'm never far from out. If no one waits their turn, then people's heads get filled with doubt. If he's supposed to save you, who the hell am I? Pour yourself a drink and watch time fly by. Why don't you come on over? Put your feet up next to my fire. Make yourself feel comfortable. You'll be here for a while. And I want to get to know you. Better than most do I won't say that I love you Though I do Cause you mean more than that to me You're an invisible necessity You're an invisible necessity You're an invisible necessity Let's hear it for Tom Orton. Well done, Tom. You okay? Yeah, good. Happy. Good, good, good. Well, let's hear what the judges had to say about that. And we'll start with Kev. Cool. I thought that was great. I think a very confident performance. Um, Thank you. I feel like the verse is very strong. Verses are very, very strong. I feel a little bit like the chorus didn't quite match up with the rest of the song, as in the rest of the song is stronger, okay, if sure. I'm being honest. Um, you know, there might be just something lyrically that works better. Sure, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you very much, Kev. Let's ask Neil for his comments now. Uh, I, I really like the opening. It's not easy to sort of play a choppy, choppier style on an acoustic guitar. I know how hard that is. Mm -hmm. There was some, like, a couple of big stretches in there, which were, which were you know, it was great to see. Um, but I really liked the, the guitar arrangement uh, with the vocal chops as well. So, I mean, you were super tight, you know, Cheers. so it's good. Yeah. Thank you for your comments, Neil. And Georgie, finally. Yeah, I think um, there's a strong vocal, I like the groove in the guitar and just the groove of the, of the track. Um, it's, a, it's, you know, kind of tight pop song. I could definitely hear that on the radio on kind of the more mainstream side of things. Just work on what can really make you stand out and sure. cut through because it's, it is, it's hard to write that kind of song and it's hard to make that impact. Sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good work. Thank you. <laughs> Great comment there. Congratulations, Tom. Thank you very much. Cheers. And let's hear now from our next semi finalist. Hi, Hattie. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I've been doing music full time for about four years. Great. And tell us about the song that you're going to play for us now. Um, so it's a song about a child being born into the world earlier than expected. I wrote it for a, a guy, um, a dad for his daughter. Well, we look forward to hearing it. I'll let you set up, Hattie. Thanks. She's ready on stage. This is Hattie Briggs.
see heaven and hell and joy and fear see there are so many souls keeping you here cold at dawn at night oh, 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 oh. on to the Let's hear it for Hattie Briggs. That was wonderful. Thank you, Hattie. Thank you very much. Shall we hear what the judges have to say? Yeah, let's. And let's start with you, Neil. Hi, Hattie. Hey. Um, You've got a stunning voice. Thank you very much. And your kind of finger style is very delicate. I really like the chord arrangement in that that chorus as well. I thought it was quite clever the way that that, that you kind of get to where you're going. Really good. I'd like to hear hear more of your stuff for cool. sure. Thanks. Thanks for your comments, Neil. Kev. Uh, I, I enjoyed it so much. I think your voice is so naturally, effortlessly beautiful. It's a Thank really you. like it was such a pleasure to listen to just purely musically. And I agree with what you were saying about um, just the sort of journey the chord progression took you on. But I just thought it was stunning, basically. Thank you very much. And finally, Georgie. Uh, yeah, I felt the same. Beautiful lyrics, be- beautiful vocal, very captivating performance. Um, I like this sort of, I think, you know, what you said about it being effortless. It's really hard to get that right, but you absolutely got that right. Thank you. Um, if I was listening to it, you know, in terms of putting it on the radio, that would definitely, it grabbed my attention to the point where I would definitely consider that. And I was already mm-hmm. imagining, like, the bigger picture. Yeah, it doesn't need to go down a poppy direction. Just yeah. keep it kind of true to what it is. But yeah, yeah I liked it a lot. Brilliant, thank you. Some great comments there. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Hattie. Oh, thank you. So there we have more wonderful performances and another tough decision for our judges to make as they decide who joins the first semi-final winner in the live-streamed final. Now, don't forget the winner is announced tomorrow morning, Friday, October 20th. You then have until Sunday evening to decide which of the six semi-finalists get to join the other two winners from the two semi-finals so far in the live-streamed final. Thank you so much to all of the musicians who've taken part in these semi-finals. We can't wait to find out which three will go through to the live-streamed final, which happens on the evening of Thursday, October 26th. Stay tuned to all of the Fender socials for updates on that. So we'll see you on that Thursday evening for the live streamed final and we'll find out who wins the Fender Undiscovered Artist of the Year.